What is up guys? My name is Morier. I thought I'd do a quick introduction video about myself while I play some Arc Age. I'm actually to do some coin purse farming on Arc Age, which is something uh, I enjoyed to do using your larceny skill. But anyway, it's a little about myself. I uh, started gaming when I was about 15. Uh, the first game I played was called the the Mud. Uh, it's like a MMO, <laughs> so Mud is the term for the type of game that I played. Uh, it was all text-based games. Uh, there was no graphics whatsoever, uh, so basically you had to read everything. You hit blah blah for X amount of damage. Sweet. And. Uh, so I started out in the mud, then I played uh, Ashran's Call, then uh, Ashran's Call 2, City of Heroes, EverQuest 2, Rift, Anarchy Online, World of Warcraft, Terra Online, Ion, Wildstar, City of Villains, Truve, and Guild Wars 2. In no particular order, besides the mud, Ashran's Call, and then from there was EverQuest, then World of Warcraft, and I forget the order from there. Uh, so yeah. I had quite a bit of history, but now going back to the MUD I talked about, I'm curious if anybody knows what MUD stands for. The MUD in particular that I played was called uh, Beyond Exiled. It was a pretty fun game and I liked it. And being 15 years old playing this game, you can imagine that since I basically lived on it, I was the most powerful character on that game. Uh, the older people could not compete because I just was on it constantly. I was the highest level, uh, I could kill the hardest things in the game, and nobody else was even close to me, and I literally played it 24-7. And at the time, I thought it was, you know, all big and bad. Then it wasn't until I got older that I realized the only reason I'm big and bad is because I'm playing it 24-7. And the other people couldn't do that. Uh, so, these things we're killing here, these NPCs, uh, in most games that I've played, they call them mobs. And in the mud, we call them mobs. I'm curious to know if anybody knows what mob stands for. Uh, at the end of this video, I will tell you what mud and mob stand for. Uh, when I played World of Warcraft, I would ask people randomly in like global chat, uh, anybody know what mob stands for? And nobody had a clue. It's only because of the mud that I know what it stands for. Now the term may not have come from the mud, the word mob, but that's where I first heard the word. So to me, that's forever where it originated. But that may not be accurate. So anyway, an arc age here. I used to play this about a year and a half, two years ago, maybe even three years ago. I think it was more like three years ago. Wow, time flies. But anyway, so I love this game. I mean, the graphics are just amazing on this game. The water and the water collision is amazing. The ships, you know, what I particularly liked about this game was the sport fishing. And ultimately, that is why I quit the game. They introduced uh, ship modifications, and the fishing boats got left behind. You could not modify your fishing boat. So people could take their clippers and galleons, you know, everything else, and put a propellant on it. My camera did something really weird there. I was just waiting. But yeah, they can put a propellant onto their ship, but the fishing boat could not. So naturally, if you're a sport fisher with a fishing boat and somebody wants to jack your boat, they basically were going to be able to because they can catch up to you with their boat. And you stood no chance. So basically, people just stopped fishing. Everyone souped up their clippers and this went out looking for people sport fishing. And that eventually just killed it. People just stopped doing it. 
They did introduce a fix for that I saw recently since I've gotten back on. Uh, this is my second day back on. I saw that the fishing boats can actually have a propellant now, so it seems like they remedied that, but it might be one of those things that's a little too late. So I don't actually know if people sport fish anymore in this game. I'm kind of curious to explore that. But in the meantime, uh, before I dive all into this game, I thought I'd just do some coin purse farming. You know, just kill these mobs over and over and hope they drop a coin purse. There may be better, uh, better mobs to farm these from, but this is just where I always used to come in Heedmar. So I'm kind of just, I just like this area, I don't know why. Might not be the most efficient area. Maybe in the library, uh, getting the coin purses from there might be more value per labor that you use. I'm not really sure, but at this point I'm not really being that picky. But going back the three years that I played this, uh, I realized that one of my biggest mistakes that I made, and I got a, per a coin purse there, one of the biggest mistakes that I made was I was trying to do too many things at once. You know, fishing, buying land, doing trade packs. Uh, it was just too much to keep up on. So I think had I gone back and done it again, or when I do start again, if sport fishing is a thing, I will just do that. I will own no land. Just do sport fishing and collect coin purses uh, to get money to buy gear. So what I actually did was I used my fishing income to buy land, which was very expensive at the time because when I first started, this game was crazy popular, like five-day queues. Anyway, uh... Well, the reason why it was 5-day queues is because people were not logging off. They were going AFK, so nobody else could get on. It was kind of silly. Uh, so I used to put something in my keyboard to make my character run when they introduced the inactive, automatically logging you off, uh, to clear up the server. So basically how it worked is you couldn't get on the game uh, at first because nobody was logging off. They were all just staying logged in. So they introduced this inactive timer. After, you know, 10 minutes, you'd get logged off. But you didn't want to get logged off because you had to be online to get labor. Uh, if you weren't online, you got no labor. So I would put something in my keyboard so I was constantly running. Uh, and so that people didn't see me, I would actually go into a dungeon. Uh... But anyway, I spent all my money that I used, uh, that I got from fishing, to buy land. And that's where I messed up. I should have actually used that money to buy gear. And had I done that, I probably would have been pretty strong. So I just kept buying more land, buying more land, and my brother was playing the game also. And uh, between us, we own like basically an entire area of land that you could fit a mansion in. Uh, Felkorth was the area that we were in. But yeah, doing it again, I would not buy land at all. Uh, it wasn't really worth it to me. There was no value in it. It was just time consuming. So the type of gamer I am is hack and slash. I just like killing stuff. You know, just killing these mobs for four hours at a time. That's that's something I can do. And I do happen to notice here there's a little delay on my camera, so I apologize about that. Uh, this is my first time uh, recording to YouTube, doing video capture. So this is a new experience to me. Uh, my plan is, you know, to work the kinks out and to upload a video every week. So yeah, that's about the gist of it. I mean, it's going to be an interesting experience getting into Arc Age again. And my plan is for my next video to do a review. A uh, returning player's review of Arc Age in its current state. 
So, if you haven't played Arc Age, I'll tell you this much though, it's a beautiful game. I mean, it's very beautiful. The water is amazing, the interaction that you have with the water. Uh, this is probably the best graphical looking game that I've ever played. So if you go back three years real quick before we end this video, uh, three years ago, basically nobody had a car. I was one of like four people that I can think of that actually had a vehicle. So when these things went driving by, it was a sight to see for people because nobody had a car. They were so expensive. But uh, I did actually have one. But nowadays, as I happen to see for the little bit I played yesterday, it seems like everybody has a car. Like there's nothing unique about it whatsoever. That kind of actually makes me kind of sad. There's been times over the past three years that I didn't play though, that I would actually get on just to drive around in my car. I just ride around for a half hour, never actually played the game. I would actually have to install it to actually be able to drive my car around. But that's all I would do is get on, drive my car around, then log off and uninstall the game. Yeah, I really liked it, but now, since everybody's got one, it's like, killed the joy for me. But anyway, uh, hopefully this video is not too long, and uh, that'll be it. Take care.